Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, bringing you another part to my Kingdom of Sweden campaign for the 1078 Medieval Wars campaign. And uh, I am finally back. Uh, as you guys can probably tell from my voice, though, I'm just starting to get it back. Uh, I was sick for the past seven days. I'm going on eight days of being sick. And I've just started to get my voice back uh, yesterday where I could kind of talk mostly without uh, a a prepubescent voice crack every three words uh, so you still may get a couple of those cracks during this episode I did record a battle right before this and uh, I was a little bit scratchy but hopefully you guys don't mind I just want to start getting out some content to you guys uh, because as as of last Monday I think that was my last upload um, but yeah we took over uh, Venice in the last episode and we're just repairing it now uh, it's pretty torn down. This wall strength is 35%, so we really need to take care of that. Uh, but looky what we got here. This is, I believe, the last settlement of the Holy Roman Empire. Uh, so what I'm doing over here at Venice is I'm, I'm building a blacksmith so that we can get some armor and uh, weaponsmithing. And I don't know... Not really worth it to build any of them. I would love to get some mercenary Swiss uh, halberdiers in this army, but uh, yeah, basically uh, this is kind of where I'm thinking for ending the campaign, but I don't know. Uh, a lot of you guys seem to be enjoying this, so I'd love your feedback to see. Uh, we've kind of been waffling over uh, whether we're going to go for the actual objectives or not. Uh, we have to reach uh, level... Well, for the Domination victory, we have to reach Imperium level 7 and control 110 settlements, which will take a very, very long time. We only have 40 currently. Um, what's our Imperium right now? I wonder. Can we see that? Imperium. Ooh, as this goes up, it's not uh, very nice. Upkeep goes up and everything. Wow. Wow. Interesting. But, yeah, so let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you guys are kind of getting a little bit bored of this, uh, I will probably be starting a uh, div uh, Empire Divided campaign very, very soon. As soon as the DLC becomes active, basically, uh, on November 30th. So if you guys would kind of like to see me just finally finish off the Holy Roman Empire after all this time and then just leave it at that, uh, maybe kind of keep the saves and come back to it at some point later on. Uh, be sure to let me know. But this guy's a general, so let's start uh, getting these here for him. Uh, we've got one more settlement here for the Hungarians, so we're hopefully going to see them fall uh, in this episode. Uh, we got a mead hall here. Guess we could repair that, uh, repair the wine market, repair that. So we took that in the last episode. Uh, Nitra is building up as well, although their sanitation isn't the best. It's just minus one. It's because of this gold mine here. But yeah, we've got a lot of armies down here. Uh, and basically, we've kind of hit the corner of the map after this one. I'm waiting to see, again, what the Lithuanians plan to do because they are uh, deteriorating quite rapidly with us. Where Lithuania. Uh, well, I say that. Like, they're still happy. Uh, but uh, they're getting worse and worse. Uh, meanwhile, Poland, I think, is uh, super happy with us still. Yeah, Poland and Serbia are, like, uh, number one up there. And Poland, uh, they, they don't really care for Lithuania that much. Uh, like, they're friendly, but they're deteriorating also. So if I did go up against uh, Lithuania and take their territories, I don't think that Poland would really mind. I'm actually wondering if we should just kind of hurry this up. Like, how much trade are we getting from them? 800 per turn. That's actually really decent. This is where all my income is coming from, too. All of these factions that are trading with me. But, yeah, we will see. <clears throat> we will see what happens there. 
Uh, sure, let's go ahead and get that uh, Sacred Spring going up. But yeah, we're basically just uh, waiting on Hungary to crack here. I've got this force that's just replenishing. Uh, same with this force over here. I don't know where they were planning to go, but I might actually just bring these guys in behind. Although, how many turns until they start to take attrition here? Two more turns, basically. That's a really solid force, but it's basically the same force that they've had the entire time. So yeah, let's let them take attrition. Let's bring uh, this army up to here. We have another 13 stack over here that we're starting to build. Uh, so we need some crossbows in here. We're already out of money, though. Wow, okay. Because, yeah, Serbia is basically... They're kind of just blocking our way over here. But I think, yeah, the Holy Roman Empire has one more settlement. So that is that would be the end of them. Yep, one settlement. So they would be destroyed once we took uh, Ravenna from them. Uh, and it's a, it's a pretty solid garrison, and but they don't have an army, unfortunately, for them Defend, <clears throat> defending it. Then looking over in Scotland as well, poor, uh, down on them. poor Scots are just continuously being harassed by these stupid uh, rebellions. There we go. We're slowly, slowly building all this stuff up here. The rebellions uh, keep blocking us from building anything up. Let's bring this army in over here. That might actually help them out. Yeah, that's plus one there. Nice. Very nice. And this guy's uh, got a tradition as well. Let's get some melee defense and melee attack. And we are about ready to push forwards over here as well. Uh, we'll have to build something here next turn. And we're definitely replenishing with this force. So basically... They really like them. But the Kingdom of Munster has three territories. And the Kingdom of Leicester only has two. However, the Kingdom of Leinster, uh, they're both port towns. And I would be able to use my fleet, actually, to kind of take them out. But let's end the turn. Uh, apparently, we can still assign a governor. We've got this, uh, this guy here. Just pop him into Moravia. And let's give you guys growth and construction and end the turn. So yeah, it's really up to you guys kind of when you want me to end the turn or not. Oh, there's their army. So they do have one army kind of kicking around. <coughs> Excuse me. It's just that final tickle in my throat. But I'm really planning on this episode being the end of the Hungarian Empire. So we'll, we'll hopefully end uh, the episode with that battle against the Hungarian garrison. We'll give them one turn of attrition to kind of weaken them to half because I think we would need that. And then we'll push in against them and see them off once and for all. Uh, yeah, I can help you out there. Oops, uh, kill the captives. And I guess Flanders was coming over to take some of the Scottish territory, but they realized I had already conquered it. And the Byzantine Empire moving around their forces. Looked like they were going to corral us there. 
And we got a massive Venetian army pushing forwards. I'm wondering if they're coming to try to take their capital back. Lithuania building up their armies as well. I'm definitely wondering what they're planning because they've got two and a half full stacks. They haven't had uh, that many soldiers uh, for the entire campaign just until recently. So I'm wondering if maybe they're thinking about attacking me or attacking the uh, Polish. Not too sure. Anywho, uh, taking the Lithuanian territories would probably... Uh, pay for itself in the lost trade because I would lose uh, more than 800 gold from going to war with them. But here come the Polish to uh, protect their lands. And here come all the rebellions that we have to put down. And kill the captives there. And let's rest of these, uh, the Duchy of Bur Burgundy that keeps trying to come back. Or sorry, uh, Bavaria. Yeah, so our uh, our income is uh, going down quite a bit. Uh, so it might uh, be in our best interest to maybe uh, disband a couple of these armies. I'm not exactly sure. But it looks like Nitra could actually upgrade. But would that be getting us anything good, really? 20% wealth from commerce buildings. Uh, I think that can wait for now, to be honest. But I've got this army also over here that's kind of just uh, chilling. So, uh, what do I want for you guys? More cunning, maybe? This guy's a good general. And here we can actually build something as well. So let's get a mint in here. Warriors Hall. Ah, uh, let's not spend that much money. What's our garrison looking like here? It's starting to build up, which is good. So we could probably move this army out as well. Get them up over here. Now, do we have military access with these guys? Yes, we do. So, yeah, we can come right through their lands. And we're going to move over here to uh, Chadra. And then with this army, we're going to just pull them right over here. Actually, we could probably force march them over to here. They just run away. Of course they do. Let's repair that. Oh, Ravenna is so close. So very close. And over here, we're going to need something as well. So... Let's get... What do we have here already? Mead Hall. Got a goldsmith workshop. Let's maybe get some sacred ground. 
And let's get rid of that. I don't really need that. And they will almost uh, be completely healed. They've got a full 20 stack here. Plus, uh, what is their garrison like? Uh, pretty solid. Actually, English. English forces. I'm wondering if I should build up this navy here. This is a pretty solid navy. Can get a couple more Axe Bondir, maybe. Two more. And uh, finally, we're, we're getting somewhere with this uh, settlement here. Yes. Got the king sitting sitting nice and pretty. We've got uh, this settlement up here, which is pretty PO'd, but uh, it's all part of this same region, so I think it should be all right. And I think we'll kind of do a two-tiered assault against uh, Downpatrick very very soon but yeah we've got uh, this army over here which has also gained a level looks like this is a new general what are we even researching right now minus 15 percent corruption yeah that's that's pretty useful so we'll stick it on we'll we'll keep it on that for now uh, let's move this army right in uh, behind Your next command. And we've got a lot of nice mercenary Swiss men at arms here. This would be a massive battle, but uh, we'll probably. I'm. I'm s I'd still rather they take attrition, to be honest. So I'll, I'll let them take attrition. And another governor. Goodness, how many governors do I need here? This is uh this is a little over the top I think with the amount of like every province needs a governor like I about Rome too where you could only have like a few edicts uh, dependent on your imperium level instead of just like every province has their own edict like that's it's a little unnecessary look at all those uh, priests in that one area too my goodness. And the Hungarian priest trying to incite unrest over here. It's not going to save you. It's just not going to save you. And I think this will probably be the last 1078 campaign I do on my channel, just because it's, it's in my opinion, it's it's a really fun campaign, but it's just uh, not finished. Uh, and I don't think that it ever will be. I think if I ever do do another campaign like the 1078, it'll be one in the 1295 campaign. Because I've been playing that on my own free time, and I've been finding that a lot more challenging. So uh, if you guys are interested in a 1295 campaign, I could definitely put that in the works. Because the garrisons are a lot smaller, so, you know, kind of have to think more about your public order. And uh, units are more expensive. You can't really spam as many out. Uh, it's good. It's good. I like it. And there's some different playable factions as well. Uh, I'm playing as Sicily right now, and it's it's pretty fun. Pretty fun. And Lithuania is just sending their forces back and forth. Oh, we need a fast forward button for these turns. They just take way too long. Way too long. Goodbye. Venice is mine. Stay away.
Lost 22 men there. Faction destroyed. Oh, the Danish Separatists. Yeah, so uh, I guess that was the end of the... That's the end of the... Rebellion. Great, are we taking attrition right now? No. Let's bring up this other force here. We'll probably take attrition moving through. No, it looks like we're all right. Got this massive army over here that's taking attrition, though. Oh, wait, yeah, because the Swedish, aren't we immune to attrition or something? Probably unless uh, we go through these mountain passes, but... These guys are pretty unhappy as well. Yeah, I don't really need that either. So let's get rid of that. And I think I deleted one over here. So we can build something something else. What do we want here? Hall of Stories. That would be interesting. Yeah, let's get the Hall of Stories in here. And that's 6,000. I'm not going to be spending that kind of money. Uh, these guys are almost fully healed. Let's move them out over to here. Uh, they'll rebel, but I'm pretty sure we got a decent force already built up there. And these guys can kind of come down just about to here. And we're slowly building up over here as well. I think this priest is uh, trying to make everybody nice and happy. Or whatever you are. Oh, you're an assassin. Oh, you should come over here then. I thought you were a priest or something. Good. Bamberoff is finally starting to get nice and happy. Two more turns and that'll be finished too. Our food is at 609. So there is no worries no worries there about food. Nitro wants to be upgraded, but I'm just not going to spend that kind of money. I think one more turn and this will be finished. Yep, one more turn. So let's go ahead and end the turn. Oh my goodness. Okay. Another governor can be assigned. Get an edict here, growth and construction. Ready for battle. Really? You guys are, are low, eh? You get to work. It's only minus two though, it's it's fine. Just wanna make sure that they and re can reinforce. Yes, they can. Very good. So in the in the next turn, we'll have that battle to end Hungary once and for all. Just rid them from the campaign map. Rid them from the turns. I would love if they just sallied out against me. That would just be a dream come true after all the hardships that these Hungarian armies have put me through. These priests, too, will finally die. They really want that city back. I, I'm wondering if that's their capital, Nitra. I, I'm not exactly sure. But it's mine now. It's Sweden's now. I can't believe that the Duchy of Lorraine is hung on this long, too. I'm pretty sure that they still have their one settlement. Uh, they're just kind of surrounded by French cities on all sides, and I can't get military access with the French to go in and get them. And I don't want to really, you know, piss off the French at this point in the game either, because they are a very large power. It's really France and England are the main powers right now. Looks like the uh, Swiss and the Serbians are duking it out in the mountain passes there, but the Swiss lost out. 
Swiss do hold on to their territory still, though. wonder if the Polish don't like the Lithuanians anymore because the Lithuanians just keep trespassing through all their lands. That would probably have something to do with it. We do not give gifts. Uh, like no. No, Venice. I'm not taking 500 of your dirty florins to be at peace with you. And wasn't it your armies that slaughtered my entire army, took them by surprise, killed my general? Yeah, there will be only war between us. Never learn, do ya? Like, after a while, you think that these rebellions would just give up. Like, you're not getting your settlements back. Very good. Alright, I think we should be good to move in. Yep, they've taken, taken their attrition. Let's go ahead and fight this battle. And crash as my secondary force starts to... But look at look at my crossbows though. Silver chevron upgrades on them. Uh, look if we put any breach points in the walls or not. All right, start deployment. Oh, it looks like it's uh, pretty open actually. It's uh, open for the attack, so we we don't need to worry about that. We've also got a lot of uh, penalties. Minus 12 morale, minus 12 attack, minus 12 defense. Our uh, reinforcements are going to be coming in from over there, uh, which is fine. So I'll, I'll actually just sit over here, I think. This looks like a good place. So let's get my at gear bond dude there. Let's get my herdman on either side. Let's get my catapult. Cavalry in the trees. General is on foot. And let's begin. And so we come to the final moments in our enemy's story. Pity them as you scale these walls, their final stronghold. Reinforcing troops. And damn, our ambush troops have been detected. As you send them to their deaths. That was a really awesome speech. Uh, I don't know if you guys caught the beginning of that. Uh, but he's like, so we come to their final settlement. This is our enemy's last stand. I'm like, that is awesome. Like, how do you even know that? How do you even know that that's their? This is their last chance. Yeah, this is. Uh, they're going for it too. They're they're just going, going for it. Let's get the uh, shield screen over here. Let's get our cavalry over here. We're not even probably going to need our reinforcements. I don't think. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I'm really trying for you. I'm really trying. Oh, I haven't talked this much in eight days. This is killing me. Let's go ahead. Uh, yeah, go ahead and get that that one in there. Uh, crossbows halt. Where are you even going? 
Ooh, they got a good charge over here, though. And you actually stop firing against them. You're just going to destroy. Destroy our men. Oh, actually, there we go. Go after the pikes. You go after these guys. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Why, why don't you just go in against there? Let's bring up the uh, reinforcing cav. And excellent. We can uh, reform over here. Just go into all those crossbows. Yes. Flee, you Hungarians. Flee from the might of the Swedish forces. Here comes another good charge in the, in the uh, flank. That effectively silences them. They're, they're pulling back their, their halberdiers, but that's a mistake. They're, they're just going to be taking a lot of casualties. Oh, and you can hear the artillery coming down as well. Yep, they're pretty much, they're pretty much done. I think they realize that fact, really. Got some of the uh, sergeants fighting my Atgear Bondir over here, which we can kind of enjoy. Gotta make sure they don't break through there, though. Uh, I'm kind of just letting my cavalry uh, do what they need to do. Uh, let's just uh, keep them firing over here. Keep firing. Just fire into the men. And here comes the uh, reinforcing cab over here. Let's go ahead and pour them into the mix. Oh, what happened here? Yeah, a lot of my cab is dying over here, but uh, I'm okay with it. Going to uh, let these Hungarians have uh, their last stand. Here comes the uh, horde of my Swedish knights over the horizon. Uh, these spears are so dead. Boom. There we go. Yep, so I, I'm losing I'm losing two units of cab, but that's 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 okay with me, I think. Send my general in against uh, these sergeants here. Let's push against them. Uh, let's get you guys over here. And now these uh, sergeants are completely surrounded. I love how my general's a mercenary Swiss Halberdier unit as well. That's so cool. Uh, again, these units are getting pretty depleted. Let's uh, send one of these we got here. Uh, more Pavaziers. This unit of cab came back. It's done its job, though. We can just leave it there. And our Akir Bondir can start to move forwards. Let's get our missile warriors moving forwards. Love how we're struggling to kill this unit of crossbows over here, though. Got 475 men left. Let's 
uh, peel one of these uh, horses off over here. I'm gonna come after this other crossbow unit. Oh, and they just broke. Excellent. So let's get all of our crossbows moving forwards. Looks like they got their uh, Pavaziris moving in wedge formation. Push them back, man. Push them back. Splinter their shields. More of my herdmen even moving in. All right, you go after them. You go after them as they try to escape. And you go after them. And I would say this battle is just about wrapped up. Right in time. I was going to record a few more videos uh, for you guys tonight, but uh, my voice needs a rest after this. It's dying. Oh, they have two crossbows. Come on, get them. They're running away back to their town center. You cowards. You cowards. Oh, snap. The Hungarians, though, actually charging into my herdmen there. Looked like a decent charge, but they didn't manage to break any of my units, which is nice. Come on. Come on, Cab. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get a nice good charge off to finish the battle here for the glory of Sweden. Oh, that wasn't really that good. Look at all the cab charging up into the corner, too. Oh, derp. There we go. Victory. Victory. We didn't even need our second army. Look at the kills by the crowd. Sergeants really were the unit routed. And there we go. Hungary is destroyed. Lost 763 men. But that is the last Swedish Ready troops we will lose to the Hungarians. Where is it? Isn't it going to tell us? Really? Are they not? De oh, they're not destroyed because I've got this one, one final army over here. Later. Getting on our way. And is that it? Dun, dun, dun. Faction destroyed Hungary. And that's where I'm going to wrap it up, guys. Uh, my voice can't take any more talking tonight. Uh, so thanks very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. And I will see you in the next one.